Hello and welcome to Titan HQ. Today I'll be going through Web Titan DNS proxy and WADA deployment. This deployment works with our Web Titan cloud for Active Directory integration. This allows you to assign group policies and also user policies. In addition to this, within our reporting suite, you will also be able to see reports on individual users and groups. First of all, you would need to download the DNS proxy ISO from our help desk webpage and also WADA, which is Web Titan Active Directory Agent. This must be installed on your domain controller and I will go through the deployment of both now. This is a DNS proxy interface. The default login is admin and the password is iadmin, H-I-A-D-M-I-N, all lowercase. When I log in, this is the screen that you're presented with. This is the IP address that was assigned to DNS proxy during the installation of the ISO. This can be installed on VMware, Hyper-V, or hardware. If installing on hardware, it must be FreeBSD compliant. To get set up, the first thing to do is come to the DNS settings tab. In here, you enter the IP address of your Web Titan Cloud. For the instance of my demonstration, I'll be using internal IPs, but in your case, you'll be using the IP address provided to you when you signed up to Web Titan. Also, if you have internal domains that you would like to redirect to an internal DNS server, you simply add them here. As you can see, I've already added Titan support.local would redirect to 10.1.3.100. The next step is to enter your cloud credentials. In here, you enter in the email address and password you use to log into Web Titan Cloud. The next step is to create the sync to your Active Directory. Here you click on Add, you enter in your domain name. We always recommend using the IP address of your LDAP server. So in our case, it is 10.1.3.100. And this, of course, is our domain controller where we'll be pulling in the users and groups from. The base DN will auto-populate for you. All you would need to do is type DC, and it will give you the base DN, which would be the first option. Next, you enter a administrative email address and password. This gives a DNS proxy the ability to read and pull in the information for the users and groups. And click on save. The next step then after saving is to tick the tick box to the left hand side and import your users to DNS proxy. After this, you tick the tick box again and you sync your users. This will sync your users and groups into your Web Titan Cloud interface. Now that this is done, you can verify that this is in place by logging into your Web Titan Cloud interface and going to the Users tab. This should now be populated with the users from your Active Directory. And also within the Groups tab, you will now see your groups. You can create multiple policies from the Policies tab by simply clicking on the Add button and then creating your policy. You give the policy a name and a description. And then you come to your categories and you allow and block your categories as you wish. You can also enable save search and add your whitelists and blacklists. Once you have this in place, click on save. And now you can assign the new policy to the groups that you want it to be enabled for. You simply Click Edit beside the users and select the policy you want to use. In this case, I will use Derek. 
and save. We also have a group ranking. So if multiple groups have different policies, so I'll give another group another policy here, it's the default policy, they will appear in the group ranking. The way the group ranking works is if I was a user of the remote desktop users and the domain users, and I wanted to make sure I always get my policy that's associated with the remote desktop users, that comes priority, so top of the list. But if you wanted it the other way around, it's a simple drag and drop. So now I would always get the policy that's associated with domain users. I'll drag it back down again. Generally, a rule of thumb here is the higher the number of users in a group, the lower the priority. That is now DNS proxy set up and verified that it is in place, as now I can see my users and groups in my Web Titan Cloud interface. The next step is to install WADA on your domain controller. Here is my domain controller, and as you can see, I have WADA located on my desktop within the domain controller. So to install, I double click, click on run. Then next, accept the terms of the license, and I install. Now I provide some details of my DNS proxy. So I must give it the IP address of my DNS proxy, which in this case is 10.1.100.201. You can leave the port to the default, quadruple seven, and then the other settings if you have terminal servers to enter these here, if you're using a radius authentication, enter it in here also. So I save configuration and continue. And now I must enter the administrative username and password. After you click OK, it will install and you can click on Finish. And now WADA is in place. This can take up to 15 to 20 minutes to gather the user information, pass it on to DNS proxy, and now you will be able to see user identification in your reporting and have the group policies in place. What WADA actually does is it resides on your domain controller it views the event logger. So it sees a user logging into the domain. It associates the internal IP with that user and passes that information on to DNS proxy. In these instances, DNS is redirected to your DNS proxy, and this sends the metadata attached to all DNS requests onto Web Titan Cloud. And this is how we see the user identification and we also see the internal IP address of that user. So if I come to the reporting tab within here, I will now see on the reporting and history a live view of traffic. So as I can see here, I have the username showing up, the destination, the category it fell under, whether it was allowed or blocked, and this would be a public IP in your case, and then you will also have an internal IP address associated with that user, and all your users will be visible from here on out. And that is the installation of DNS Proxy and WADA. Thank you.